because they were they laid out like you would see at you know an outdoor bazaar that right you know. right was there a price on everything or was it just ten dollars for the lot I, I I don't really know because it doesn't I, matter. I, I mean, imagined because in it my sticks mind, sticks in a broken bucket. In my mind, there might have been there other were things. other things. But still, it's just <laughs> like trash. There, yes, it was. It was, and I was like, "What? Okay, no. Okay, <laughs> okay, no. Because no. <laughs> like normally, they're like a little bit further up at the stop sign, like asking for money. Right. So maybe this is an entrepreneur." <laughs> Like taking over that that, that curb. Uh, well, he want to he want to earn that money. Yeah, he wants to earn that walks money. Walks up in a suit. And I was like, this is I don't I don't even know what's going on in my life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like it's gone too far. You're uh, like I have to talk to past me about my social. Yeah, I've got a lot on my card. mind like, right I now. Can't. I can't right I now. Can't. Yeah, because when I saw the price, I was like, I can keep going. <laughs> I just keep don't even. Going. But I thought I gotta tell them about this because it, it's it's becoming. It's morphing into its own ecosystem now. They're just swapping. It's a swap shop. We'll get you mm. we'll get you sticks for a uh, for a half a ham sandwich. Man, if you go buy me a Whopper, you can have these sticks. You can right have here. the sticks, right? That's there. how much a Whopper costs now. Ten dollars. So maybe that's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. And that's another thing. Well, so inflation is even on the sticks. Right? Exactly. I remember when mm-hmm. a bundle of sticks was only two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> boy, that's not true. I remember that's not. I mean, that is true. What I'm trying to say, I don't know. Let's stand by. Let's do a thing here. W U T K ninety point three FM, Knoxville, Tennessee. Volunteer Radio, streaming at w u t k radio dot com and on your free TuneIn app. Yeah, hi. How are you? We're here. And we're still doing the thing. Yeah. Pork, what's new with you? You've been quiet tonight. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just got a busy weekend. <laughs> a what's busy- you? moving stuff filling out applications gotta get my oil changed and work <laughs> get get you the group on the group on yeah for and, and get you a group on coupon for oil changes because that inflation is painful too yeah it mm-hmm. is. yep but you can get you a good deal that's the only reason i hang on to the the fancy long johns for the the discount <laughs> there sure. you go how are things at the fancy uh, uh, other place call center? It's yeah, f- it's fine, I guess. Had any fun calls lately? Yeah, what's going on over at King's movie? Uh, let's, let's see. Some lady called and she was like, "I like, th- like your movie theater is in a mall, and I was banned from the mall. Can I still still come to the <laughs> theater?" No. <laughs> okay. She's that's that is so bizarre. Oh, you're located in Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, well, actually, I didn't even see that. You see, I'm actually a psychic medium too. And oh my like, god! Like, <laughs> like, like, oh, and she went on to say that she's seven months sober too. I was like, okay, oh, well, you're, you're hey. one of those kind of psychic. Mediums. Yeah. Wait, so she's a psychic medium who didn't realize she was not calling a place she was located. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, she astral projected to Knoxville, got banned in the mall. Exactly. <laughs> And you know what's weird, Pork, because I had a call like that this week. It was week a different too. city. It wasn't the one here. Right. Oh. Yeah. Well, and, and mine was in a different but city, still. too. But I had a call from a woman who's like, uh, where's my prescription? I was like, well, it's at the it's at the boo boo boo. And she's like, well, I can't go there because I was banned from that store. They called the police and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Dang. Sounds uh, like a personal problem. Sounds yeah. like a personal <laughs> thing. And I, I called our senior reps. I'm like, what do I tell her in this situation? Like, They're well, like, go through the, the prescription. Well, no. The, she's like. Go through the drive through Just don't go in there. That's no. What, call your doctor yeah. and tell them this is not my preferred pharmacy anymore. Well, and, well, then I called the pharmacy. They don't and, prefer me. And I was like, is this woman banned? And they're like, no. What is she talking about? She's not banned. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. You could just say, like, stop breaking the law, butthole. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. We ban people from Puke our face? store. Booger face? What? We've banned people from our store. They well, do come through the drive through now. Well, yeah. Huh. That, There's literally a note on their profile that says, must come through drive through Banned. Mm. Well, and, and you know I'm not saying that that's not possible but it was the weirdest call they were, yeah. they were trying to steal vibrators <laughs> yeah, what is it with that adult section people just can't just keep their hands off because of it. it's so expensive and they need right. it yeah. you need well you I remember need- when vibrators were just a dollar <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't look at the bar that closely. It might have been there. That's right. I, when we I, liked uh, it, we liked it that way. Uh, uh. Oh. I remember when you could get a vibrator from the like the little claw machine. You just like <laughs> put two quarters in and get you a vibrator. That was it. Yep. They yeah. weren't the best, but we used them, yeah. damn it. Until they ran out. In um 
Paris, France, at least in the 90s, you could, you know those little bubblegum machines where you put like 25 cents and you get like a bubblegum? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could get condoms that way. That doesn't surprise me. And you know what? But that's like a- they would come this like cute little tin. Yeah. Which and is why know. I ended up buying a condom in eighth grade because I was like, I want that tin. I just want the tin. Yep. And I was like, threw out the condom. I was like, Psst. Who needs this? <laughs> no, I don't need that. <laughs> that was a great. I was I'll like, keep Ooh. this. I'll keep this tin. It was like zodiac signs, and I got mm-hmm. um, Libra, and I was like, no, but I didn't want to keep spending money on the condoms. I, like, mm. I think it's, I thought it was funny mm. in the uh, in the men's bathroom where they have the they have the condom machine right next to the baby changing station. It's like, well, it's a little late for that, you yeah. know. If it, if you're using the baby changes, you wished you'd use the other one. Women don't get the condom machines in theirs. No, we get no. the tampon machine and uh, chapsticks. Yeah, <coughs> that's it, huh? Chapsticks and uh, lips. Sometimes chap. there's uh, like ibuprofen in there. Sometimes, but that's like at the fancy one. That's fancy one. That's that's a fancy one. Yeah, so that's what you get at the at the you Olive Garden. Tampons, <laughs> pads, uh, lips, chapstick. That's in the basic ones. Mm-hmm. And if you fancy one, sometimes ibuprofen. Mm-hmm. And we get condoms. Yeah. You don't need anything else. That's all you're looking for, Isn't right? Like lube adjacent to that? No. That's what the chapstick's for. Now it makes sense. Ah, mm. it all comes together. Mm-hmm. You have to have the two parts. It's one thing. So I was like, who's in the bathroom? I was like, oh, I really need chapstick. Thank God. Right. But they're there all the time. Mm-hmm. All the right. time. The psychic lady knew. Mm-hmm. Exactly. She knew all about it. What did you tell her? <laughs> she can't, like, she can't go to it, right? Like, if you're banned from the yeah. wall. Um, I just said, well, let me email. I'll get back to you. And and they got back to me and said, like, yeah, she's banned from the mall. And thus she's banned from here, too. So... <laughs> Um, said, and they basically said, like, do you want to call her back? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Well, they said it. They said maybe it'll, co- maybe the message will sink in if they, um, the message comes from corporate instead of us because I asked them to contact her. I'm just like, okay, I'll sit on this over the weekend. I'll get on. I'll get to this on Monday. Oh no, that's a to, to be continued. Yeah, basically. Oh, oh my goodness. Like, okay, but the psychic. It's okay. She's a psychic. She so probably she already, she knows. Knows. she already knows. She sees this coming. She knows. Yeah.